John Mattis here with another Investigative Guy update. Six months ago, we took a hard look at some of those so-called mortgage modification firms with their slick TV ads. Are you in danger of losing your home? Are you behind on your mortgage payments? Promising to save homes, but people facing foreclosure. All for the low price of almost $4,000. Well, we then exposed them. I'm looking for Gary Bobo. Showing how some of these places aren't full of well-trained professionals, but only hustlers making phone pitches for money. And how operations like the one we exposed change their names every few months to stay ahead of the law, even after their order shut down. They said a cease and desist letter. And many of the companies, such as the one we investigated, are run by ex-cons and employ, well, who knows what kind of people. Does anyone do a background check on any of these folks working here? Sounds like the scammers are out of control. But wait, the feds say they're busting them. I, I want to shut you down, I want to take every penny you have, and I want to send you to jail. Sounds tough, but here's the real deal. When the government orders these places shut down, the guys just move down the street into another operation. Case in point, the man behind an operation called Safe House, the place we dropped in on six months ago, has reappeared in yet another modification operation. When we met up with him again, we asked him about his past business at Safe House. It was ordered closed by the state. Well, now he denies he was even part of it. I had nothing to do with Safe House. You, you gave me your business card and it said president of Safe House. No, 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 oh, no, didn't? no not, not president. Okay. Then there's a case of alleged mortgage fraud kingpin, Sam Suleiman. Get out! Get out. John Get out. Fox 6 out. Out. Yes, the same man who tried to kill me. And since getting out of prison, he's been hard at work, and you guessed it, in the mortgage modification business. And look what people say about him and his wife, Rosa Barraza. This woman's such a lying, cheating, underhanded person. They were a fraud before, and they're a fraud now. So, does crime really pay? Do these scams really work? Well, take a look at that car, owned by the man we exposed. Enough said.